It is said before humans, Anunnaki used the Ajiji, the young generation of ancient astronaut gods as their servants to mine gold on Earth but later they were replaced by humans when they rebelled against Anunnaki. For the ancient Mesopotamians, heaven is divided into three domes. The lowest dome of heaven was the home of the stars and the middle dome was the home of the Ajiji, the younger gods. The highest and outermost dome of heaven was personified as an, the god of the sky. The Ajiji worked for the Anunnaki, dug ditches, and drained canals, and one day, tired, they revealed themselves as told by the legends of the epic poems Enuma Elish and Atrahasis. As reported on the Auric, the open richly annotated cuneiform corpus, page, the term appears in the poem of Atrahasis, hero in the Babylonian version of the Epic of Gilgamesh, the story behind the Great Flood. The text dates from the 17th century BC and is engraved on tablets, preserved in the British Museum in London. The finding provides some evidence about the relationship between the Anunnaki and the Ajiji. It is unclear how to describe the meaning of the terminology used to describe the gods but researchers believe the term Ajiji is of Semitic origin and indicates a group of possibly seven or eight gods in the Mesopotamian pantheon. They were half humans, half animals. It is believed that Marduk, the patron god of the city of Babylon belonged to the Ajiji. A Sumerian logographic equivalent of the term Ajiji is Nun Gal Ine, to be translated as, the great princes, sovereigns. This term is mentioned in a literary text that has been ascribed to the princess Enhejuana, daughter of King Sargon, the founder of the old Akkadian dynasty. The poem of Atrahasis begins with the condition that emerged after the cosmogony, the god of heaven, Anu, is promoted to heaven. Ea, Enki, fell into the Abza, the underworld of the abyssal waters, above which the earth rests. And Lil took the land to himself, with all living beings in it. The Ajiji gods were instead forced to work on the land, an area where the god Enlil reigns. The Ajiji excavated rivers, including the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, and canals. The heavy work of the Ajiji gods, day and night, lasted 2,500 years. Thus, from line 39 of Tablet I of the poem, these gods begin to reflect, until one of them encouraged them to leave work and rebel. The Ajiji listened to his companion and threw the tools of work into the fire, and they marched together, they went towards the sanctuary of Enlil. The Ajiji did not want more fatigued partners, forcing the Anunnaki to find a permanent solution. Here then is where the Anunnaki created the humans, who from then on had to endure the work of the gods. Enlil sobbed and meditated, deciding to leave earth and ascend to heaven with Anu. He returned the divine powers on earth to Anu. Anu acknowledged the burden faced by the Ajiji and proposed a solution creating mankind, known as, Lulu. To accomplish this, he called upon the goddess Mamu, the mother goddess, to play a crucial role in the creation. Upon hearing this decision, the Ajiji felt relieved from their arduous labor and rejoiced. Mamu began the process of creation by preparing the materials. As a result, the Ajiji gods designated her as the Lady of All the Gods, Kala Belit Ili. Mamu then proceeded to mix the clay and called upon both the Anunnaki and the Ajiji to contribute to the formation of man by spitting on the dough. Thus, humanity was ready to come into existence, and they were given the responsibility that was once solely shouldered by the gods Ajiji the strenuous toil on earth. If you have any questions, insights, or additional knowledge to share, we would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and share it with your friends to spread the knowledge. For more captivating content about the Anunnaki and other ancient mysteries, be sure to check out our previous videos. And if you haven't already, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest discoveries. Thank you, and see you in the next video.